Importing Google Analytics goals as conversions to Google Ads is a very popular way to track PPC performance. It's very easy and fast to set up, but today you will learn why it's actually a big mistake and why you should avoid doing this. Tracking your conversions directly from Google Ads conversion code is always a better option and after watching this video, you will understand why. Hello there, welcome to Ads Courses. I'll teach you the best PPC and web analytics strategies and secrets. If you want to support this channel, subscribe and share it. Okay, so let's dive in. Okay, so this is an interesting topic. A lot of you guys wrote me messages recently about importing Google Analytics goals as conversions into Google Ads. And many of you were referring to this article on Search Engine Journal uh, from Vital Vrodarczyk. Why using conversions imported from Analytics to Google Ads does not actually make sense. And this is a very un interesting article and I agree with it 100%. But I was surprised that so many people actually are not aware of this topic because I actually came up to this conclusion, I think it was in 2016 or 17, because if you think about it, it's actually logical. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will cover all of this in this video later. But back in 2016 or 17, I was investigating this topic because it was very interesting for me. Uh, and I, for example, came up to this article from bontius.com back from 2016, February, right? So this topic is not new, it's not fresh. It's actually pretty well known to some of the people in the industry. And it's about the same thing, right? Why you shouldn't or what you need to be aware of while importing Google Analytics goals as conversions to Google Ads. So I was very surprised that so many PPC specialists around the world aren't aware of this problem. So I decided to make a video about this topic. So let's dive in. Okay, so the, the first question, the main question is why importing Google Analytics goals as conversions in Google Ads is a mistake. You know, if it's a mistake or not, it's actually your decision and it should be based on your approach to the attribution because the differences between Google Analytics goals and Google Ads conversion tracking, it's mostly about attribution, right? They use different attributions. Okay, so before I explain how it all works, let's play a simple game, a quiz, and try to guess who gets the conversion in these situations. Okay, so situation one, who gets the conversion via Google Ads conversion tracking and which traffic source gets a conversion in Google Analytics goal import. In this situation where we have organic search in the conversion path, this is a conversion path, right? So we've got organic search, direct, paid search, direct. So the answer is with both solutions, paid search gets the, the conversion in Google Ads conversion tracking and in Google Analytics goal import. Okay, situation number two, we've got organic search, we've got direct two times and we've got paid search and the answer is again in both situations we we'll get the conversion is attributed to paid search okay so these were easy next situation we've got direct paid search organic search and email and here things get a little bit more complicated because if you were using google ads conversion tracking the conversion would appear in Google Ads interface as conversion, right? But if you use Google Analytics goal import as conversion in Google Ads, it wouldn't show as conversion because Google Analytics would attribute a conversion to email traffic source, right? Because Google Analytics uses non-direct last click attribution model. And if you import Google Analytics goals into Google Ads, they will use the same attribution model from Google Analytics because there is no option to actually change attribution model in Google Analytics. You can only compare different models, but you can't on default change the attribution model there, okay? And Google Ads uses last click Google Ads attribution model. You can change it in Google Ads conversion settings to linear, position-based, data-driven, etc. But in default, it's Google Ads last click. So if you would use here in this example, imported goal from Google Analytics, this conversion wouldn't appear as conversion in Google Ads. Another example here, we've got two examples. We've got paid search three times and then organic search. You've got paid search two times and then organic search. Okay, the answer looks like this. In the first example here, Google Analytics would attribute a conversion in here as conversion 
if you use Google Analytics Go import, it wouldn't show in Google Ads as conversion because Google Analytics would attribute this goal to organic search, which was a last click, non-direct traffic source. And same in the second example, right? We've got Google Ads conversion traffic would attribute this as conversion. Google Analytics goal import wouldn't, right? It would attribute it to organic search. And as you can see, this is a huge problem, right? Because if you're using Google Analytics goal import, you are missing quite a lot of conversions. You may miss a lot of conversions actually, right? How much? It depends, of course, on the conversion path, but you may miss quite a lot. Okay, so another example here, this, you've got direct organic search, paid search and organic search. And the answer looks like this. With Google Ads conversion tracking, you would attribute this as conversion in Google Analytics goal import. You wouldn't. It would be an organic search conversion. So it wouldn't show in Google Ads conversion column as conversion. Okay, so as you can see what you're actually missing. Okay, so I showed you two situations where attribution was actually, you know, the same. So it's actually this example here in Google Analytics and in Google Ads is the same. And in here, it's also the same. But in these four different examples, of course, they are just examples. And these are not just the situation where it can actually appear. You're missing conversions if you would use Google Analytics Go Import feature. Okay, so that's why you actually shouldn't do that. In my opinion, in most cases, you should use Google Ads conversion tracking, especially if you're using automated bid strategies, because they will have more and more data to work with than if you're using Google Analytics Go Import option. And even if you're not using automated bidding strategies, if you're bid manually, then again, you would want to have more data because, for example, in this situation, you wouldn't see this as conversion. You would decrease bids on this keyword, for example, but overall, it actually influenced the, the goal completion, right? The goal, the transaction, for example, the purchase, because maybe without this traffic source here, there wouldn't be any conversion at the end, right? So you want to see these conversions, in my opinion, normally. And you want to, you know, see the big picture, not only the, the last click, the worst part of the last click, which is actually Google Analytics last click attribution model. And if you use Google Analytics goal import, this is the worst attribution model, in my opinion, that you could use. So in my opinion, the more data you have, the better optimization process. And you will have more data while using Google Ads conversion tracking. That's for sure. And plus, what else you're missing? while importing only Google Analytics goals as conversions. You know, in default, by default, there is no option to, to record call conversions. Of course, there is an option to do that, but it requires a little bit of more sophisticated implementations. And there is this option in Google Ads conversion tracking. And Google Analytics goal import, they don't cover view true conversions, right? They're only post-click conversions. Uh, of course, the view true conversions are not perfect in Google Ads conversion tracking, but they still exist and they don't in Google Analytics. So you need to keep in mind this, especially if you're running display campaigns. And of course, you can't, by default, you can't track store visits. It's way more difficult than using the Google Ads conversion tracking. Okay, so if you want to actually estimate how much you're actually using the Google Analytics goal import feature, compared to using Google Ads conversion tracking. You can always visit the Google Analytics attribution model comparison tool, which is under the conversions, multi-channel funnels, and model comparison tool. Or you can use the new Google Analytics attribution. And here you can compare different attribution models. I recommend to always select one conversion. Don't do it while having all conversions selected. So select one particular conversion. It can be a transaction, you know, lead, whatever. And then you can compare different attribution models. And the attribution model from Google Ads is the last Google Ads click attribution model. So it should show you the most close to using Google Ads conversion tracking attribution model. It won't be one-to-one, one one, but it will be close. And you can compare it to the Google Analytics standard attribution model that is applied while you use Google Analytics Go import feature. So as you can see in this example, 
if you look at this paid search in here, we compare last non-direct click to last Google Ads click attribution model when it comes to conversion value and ROS, right? So this is the conversion value for last non-direct click. And this is the conversion value for last Google Ads click, which is, you know, significantly higher. And same with ROS, you know, and this is actually a very specific example where the ROS is very, very low. You know, this is a very uh, specific industry, but doesn't matter actually how high is the ROS, but you know, what are the differences between these and these here, which are actually huge. So in this example, conversion value is different by 40%, which is a huge difference, right? So you can see actually and estimate how much would you actually see more uh, while using Google Ads conversion tracking. So I hope I covered this topic a little bit and it may be a shocker to a lot of people, but this is actually how it works. And I confirmed this in Google. And if more, if you actually think about it, the more logical it will actually be. So I advise you to use Google ads conversion tracking instead of Google analytics goal import. You can always use both. For example, use Google uh, Analytics goal import as non-conversion, so don't include it in the conversion column, just to compare, just to see the differences, right? Now you understand the difference between attributions in Google Analytics and Google Ads. This is even more important in 2020, where automation and smart campaigns will become more and more important. If you want to support this channel, simply hit the subscribe button now. That's all for today. See you in my other videos. Bye.